Yeah, so another interesting product from Fossibot, but this one, it's good news. <laughs> it's not because some controversial thing like they just blatantly copied EcoFlow's design. I'm excited to say this one actually looks like a really appealing product, especially if you're looking for something kind of small, but not too small. You still want to be able to do stuff with it. Maybe you still want to be able to power your full-size fridge. And then the price. This is, a, this is a budget unit. They have a huge coupon on this thing. So yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but everything here looks really good. So yeah, first, you know, right off the bat, yeah, it is LFP battery and 512 watt hours. And of course, the thing is, they're combining this with a larger inverter, so 800 watts. Now that's not always the best thing, you know, if you want to just run small loads and you, you don't really want a larger inverter. But as I mentioned, you know, maybe you want to be able to power your full size fridge, at least for a little bit. You're not going to be able to power it long with this battery capacity, but you know, it would give you maybe a couple of hours. And then of course, the other appeal here is maybe you want something small and portable that's still going to be able to power some popular devices and appliances like you know to cook food so a little a simple hot plate toaster oven maybe even just want to be able to use a hair dryer so they do say yes 800 watts continuous 1600 watt surge but then they do mention down here in the listing up to 1200 watts but they don't seem too confident in it i mean they they say maybe for a couple of minutes you could do that so yeah, kind of interesting on that and then the charging this is actually this <laughs> this might actually uh surprise you it's very fast 400 watts and guess what there's no power brick here so yes bi-directional inverter and yes of course with that we do get ups now <laughs> what's funny is right there that's the only place in this listing they actually mention ups so yeah there's no there's no spec on you know how fast does it switch over who knows? And then for the solar, yeah, 200 watts. And guess what? That's up to 50 volts. So yeah, that, that might surprise you, right? I mean, again, we're talking a small budget unit here from Fossibot, and they've actually delivered the goods. Now, what's interesting, there's a little bit of confusion here. In most of, the, in most of this listing here, they do mention 8 amp max. But then if you actually go down into the details there, it kind of looks like it has one of these things where the MPPT will actually switch over. If you exceed 30 volts, it'll actually switch over and allow you to do 10 amps. So hopefully that part is right. And that makes sense. This is a kind of a common thing we've seen on power stations just because they don't want, if you're below 30 volts, you might be charging, you might be charging this thing up from your car socket. And a lot of times, if you do pull 10 amps out of those, you could melt the, the, the plug on it. So yeah, fast, fast on the AC, fast on the solar. And then, yeah, I guess if you wanted to get crazy, <laughs> you can combine them too. And it is an XT60 for the solar, and they do give you the XT60 to MC4 cable as well. And we do get a light on the front. So yeah, it's just, it's a basic one watt LED light is what they're saying. SOS mode, strobe mode, nobody uses those. I, can we get some different brightness adjustments? And for the design here, I'm really glad to see that they reverted back to their kind of their own little design language, you know, which is basically, it's nothing special, no, but at least, you know, at least it's their own thing and it's not a direct copy. It's not a direct rip off of EcoFlow. And I don't think, yeah, I didn't think this company needed to do that. I mean, they, they make some solid products here and they do have some cool little design touches. Now, on their larger units, they have this really cool mechanical dial because there's no app control with, with this brand. They had this really cool mechanical dial where you could actually choose the input charge speed. And so we don't get that on this unit. Now, I think, yeah, it's a smaller unit, but I think that still would have been cool to kind of tie that in, even if they just had an option for like 200, 300, 400, you know? So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed to see that, but you know, with given all the other specs of this unit, I, you know, I, I don't want to complain too much considering the price. For the screen here, this is interesting too, because it kind of, there's a lot of detail here. There's a lot of information, everything you're going to want, 
But guess what? <laughs> it just, it kind of has that old school look to it. Not just that green color, but yeah, it's got this little tiny battery icon. This is like a real old school battery meter icon, isn't it? So, and then the percentage is actually very small, very tiny. But, you know, if you want to be able to see what this thing is doing at any given time, yeah, very large for the input and the output right there. And of course, we do get the little icons as well. And then just a couple of last little details here. DC power, you want to be able to do that, don't you? Especially when you have limited battery capacity. Yeah, we get the car socket and they give us a little barrel port there as well. And then USB, how about five of them? That's, you know three USB-C's and two USB-A's. And then kind of just one little thing that I did notice on here that's kind of cool. Check this out. There's these little fans inside of the unit. So yes, you know, for the cooling vents on the side, there's, I guess there's one large one. This one's gonna control the airflow going in and out of the unit. But yeah, kind of cool to see that internally there's a couple of other little fans there just to try to really ensure that all the components here stay cool yeah so this you know everything here looks really great especially considering the price here they are saying it looks like there's a 39 percent off coupon that you can apply here so yeah do the math there i think that's somewhere around 200 dollars off <laughs> so yeah this is you know when you talk about these specs for that kind of price so yeah you know hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful and yeah thanks for watching